think that's the size. Holy Grail wheels. New old stock. It's great when stuff like this just appears. Hello. Hi. Fuck the lens is destroyed in dust. We'll wipe you live on camera. Yesterday we got another container, foot. another 40 foot container, but it's just me and you working because Sean is on holidays, so we didn't really get a chance to record the unloading, but you've seen that a million times, so the best part of the whole container is the wheels, and this, oh Jesus Christ, this <laughs> is the, this, I know we say it each time, but this is actually the biggest shipment of wheels we've ever got ever it's so big that usually it doesn't go past this pillar and now we're like all the way up here so we're flooded with wheels it was basically a container Adman. full of wheels Adman. and straight away just into the best shit ever they actually are incredible unbelievable so yeah we'll bring you through all these wheels nice and briefly you're going to hear a lot of wows, a lot of amazings, because that's what we do. Oh wow, amazing. Oh wow, fuck. Even though we've seen them Every before. time. <laughs> but this is always enjoyable. It's like shopping for men. This is, this is the stuff we get inside about. I know there's some girls that don't, but you know, women like shoes and stuff. And this is a male shoe shop, except for car shoes. Precious, precious hot stuff. <laughs> Get ready for all the wows, all the ooh. ooh Enki into let's say mesh. Seen them before. Durandal DDO fives or whatever. They're kind of fucking crazy. Yeah, we got them on the left. One, yeah. Right? Look. So oh, they're oh, different. Awesome. Delhi. They're actually really cool. As we can say, amazing. Stern but fair. Oh, look at those tires. They are massive. 98 man. They're actually from 98. 1998. Are they? No, they're, they're 08. 08? There's two then that are. Tires are like, literally like plastic. Ooh, what we got? Loves a good Koenig. These SSR TF1s. These are very nice. Are these brand new? Yeah, brand new what? What to that be? Let's see, let's see. Yes. 9J. 9J. Uh, absolutely. Or by Andre. Custom order for a customer. The Japanese pack is sometimes amazing and we have to rip it all apart. Wharf DDC. What? They're them lips. I can't think of the name, maybe they're the DDC lips. There's a special type of lip that came on the work equip and they're these ones. Maybe someone yeah, in the comments right. might know, but they have this uh, concave on them. They're one of the coolest fucking lips that work ever made back in the day. The side profile is amazing. They are incredible. Arguably my favorite lip for a work equip. Jeez, they're like brand new. I think I might say it on the, on the wheel. Man, they're like, literally like new. <laughs> It's definitely, I'd say this is the best part of the job, is it? Yeah, it is. This is our favorite part of working here. Ripping open, old school. Especially now before everything is sent out. Yeah. Where we have everything. There's another massive, I don't know why I get so excited about these mental sized tires. They're not even that big, but they just look huge on these old wheels. Was it a 195.65 on a, on like a 6J wheel? Snow tires as well. In Japan, they're not allowed to have uh, studded snow tires, so all their snow tires are studless. Oh yes, boy! Hashino Racing G5s. Slashing tires. I invest in more. Whoa! Altia N1 EX. I think these were used in the uh, N1 races on the Altia R34 or R33 GTR. I could be totally wrong, but uh, Altia used to race uh, Skylines in the N1 series, so... Imagine just having T37s as your just snowy, shitty winter wheel. That's the benefits of being Japanese. Nice. 
VSXX um, Crads Really mega dished work Rezax Very nice looking mesh wheel Whoa! Yeah, so the holy grail Oh my god In the right sizes so and everything LMGT4 is in arguably the best finish that they ever came in the beautiful bronze that comes on the T37s. Oh man, beautiful CR01s. Nice, perfect for an EG or an EF. What are these? CSTs refinished in a you know, gunmetal. Like these CSTs. Oh, it's actually just a copy of this wheel right here. Here's the original CST Advan T7s. Ah, no way! Right, so we were freaking out about the lips on the other ones up there, and I was saying that they come in like a deeper version of that lip. These are my favorite version of the work equips ever. It is fucking so cool. So that was like an optional extra that was offered back in the day on the equips. And uh, I just love the way the bolts just sit in and the lip is concaved in like that. Mental. Crans. The Vishnu's are. Here's the T37 gravel. They have gravel tires on them. The tires are completely bald on MC28s. <laughs> I'd say that thing was uh, doing a few lap times and then now they're just sitting in a shade in Arclo. More Nismos. Oh yeah. They are beautiful. Here's a bit of confusion. We've got Nismo LMGT ones with what looks like a Tom's CZR lip on it. So Tom and Nismo were friends. Oh five stud. Wow. I wonder what they look like. Sixteens, the are they? Man. Yeah. 16 inch CRO ones. No ones around here. These beautiful wheels. No. No. Savage. I tell you, I never knew that they came in bronze. Thank you. Original stickers and everything. Like oh, nice. Oh, TCO 5 ends are gorgeous. Here's a fun fact for you, the uh, JR11, or those XXRs, are actually a copy of that wheel. <laughs> Everything's so nicely wrapped. Oh, there they mop around. Wow. I love that cooler. Look at that. Never seen that as an optional extra, it must have been one that you could get. So cool. They're fucking gorgeous. Some cooler in there. Yeah, it's incredible. Very nice. I have never ever seen equips with that, hard, that hard done to it. Sorry, MS ones. We've been getting a few of them lately, haven't we? Mm. Nice. Very nice. They look very similar to those uh, wet sports down there. They've cool like a CNC spoke that just has a massive kind of chop in it. It's a very nice design. Oh, they are. See. It's unhealthy to keep your emotions in a box, Adrian. Glow in the dark. It's not going to glow now because it was in the dark. Yeah. So we got two sets of these work SP4s in this container. I actually like them, man. Ah, uh, man, they're such a nice wheel. They're like a more refined no, like SP1. It. Similar to the others. I always like those MAEs, though. They have more of yeah. an angry face in them. They'd look great on an early 90s crown. Oh, more MS ones. I do enjoy the MS one. Yeah, I do too. Man. It's I nice really to like see them. more of them coming over this way. Probably these are probably ones made in Japan as well. Yeah, they oh, are. savage! Very cool. It's cool the way they just went fucking real, all gold. Real, real yeah, real BBS. <laughs> real BBS LMs. There is so many replicas of these. It's sometimes shocking when you see the real deal. Nice. The CR2P. They're a very nice new enough wheel from work. Uh, I'm a fan of them. Oh, very cool. 
Absolutely cool, aren't they? The Ray's G Games. They're very like the work fucking. Oh, they're very like the work of motion, aren't they? <laughs> Matt, Kranz LZX or whatever with a black face. Oh yeah, these are fantastic, deep. There you go now. Put them on your, your crown. These are definitely one of the nicest SSRs to come out in the last few years. Yeah, no, they're SP4s, you do not see any of them anywhere. And this is the first set I've ever seen with massive dish. They're gorgeous. Here are the largest, the largest Koenigs I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of these tires. These are 17 by 12 and a half J Koenigs. The fisheye doesn't really give them the true perception that they are, but uh, we stand one up. They just look like fucking monster drum wheels. Here's my head for comparison. <laughs> Here's my hand. Three one five. Lost. Five, and then they've a uh, yeah. Three one five. Yeah. Three one five tire. So just to make it like a blocky, racy kind of look. Unbelievable. More crans. Are they five by one one four? Yeah. Sixteens or are they? Fifteen. Fifteens. Fucking belly. Someone got excited and painted the center caps gold. <laughs> Someone brought that in for themselves. Like what? Yeah. Impul NS1Rs. Oh man, look at that team Impul. Someone brought these in for themselves, an Irish person? Yeah, I think so. Really? I'm always surprised with that. They're fucking deadly. What's this? What's this? Ta da! More P1s. <laughs> yes, indeed. Fucking. The magic size. Explodo, nine and a half plus fucking 22 or something mad. Nice. I like that cooler. Yeah, very nice. Spec. These are Pro Drive. Nice. <laughs> More emotions. His name is Meister. Meister Panda. Pretty sweet. Cool. Another yoke on a new crown or something, yeah. Most people run these with like tiny little stretch tires on like drift cars, but here's like. Proxy R1R. It looks really, really aggressive. These are 18 by 9.5 plus 22, I guess. I think that's the size. Holy grail wheels. Absolutely amazing. Very nice, very nice. Oh, oh. Never ever ever get tired of looking at these wheels. Which shows how good of a design they are because so happy stuff gets like, set now. there's the cool digi digi tire font, love that. It's like something out of fucking Super Mario Brothers. The raw moisters. Somebody sanded down to paint and then just left them alone. Quick boo. What size are these tires? Fairfox did it. The Japanese man that wrapped these. He really went for it. Must have had all day to do it. No half measures. Look how much fucking cling film he used. <laughs> what? And he wrapped them inside. So he wrapped each wheel individually and then wrapped them together. Uh, we don't need to go see him. More Hoshino racing. They look like SSR Dunlops, but they're the man's. No, they are Dunlops. Yeah, Dunlop tees. SSR Dunlop tees. Very nice. They'd be deadly man on something. Yeah, like a chaser or something big. Or Evo. Yeah. Very nice. Desmond White Squares. Definitely one of the nicest wheel of the That was the first wheel that greeted us when we opened the container. a lot of really, really they're beautiful like advanced, new Enkis. Oh, they are Advans! What? Are they just completely hidden in an Enki box? <laughs> so, these are Advans. They look like they're going to be brand new Enkis because they're in a brand new Enki box, but... Uh, <laughs> Love. Even better again. I was going to say that they look a lot like all the new Advans, <laughs> then I saw the Advans sticker. 
No way. Play 16s. And no 15s, I think. Yep. These ones come with the center caps. Very, very nice. They actually have the little uh, long charm right now. Look at the coronavirus. Uh, <laughs> I got the coronavirus. <laughs> New old stock. Enki, Aero, Vortex. These are the best thing ever. These like. are so cool. Check these out. It's pretty much stuff like this just appears. They might, they might stick around for a while or someone might buy them, but uh, one of the most fucking for their boxy gangster looking wheels. They look amazing on an old ES Civic or a shuttle. So you've got the option of the mesh, and they have a cool. Yeah, there's a really cool center cap. So these are brand new, new old stock from the 80s. Very, very cool. Oh man, look at those center caps. So you got the option of just doing this with the wheel. Aero Vortex aluminium spindle rotor is transforming engineer into an alley. An air eddy created by the spindle results in no heat, immediate acceleration, one intoxicating in its power and performance. I have to get a little snap of them like. And then if you're um, not feeling the mesh then you can go for a Aero Vortex face which arguably looks just as cool. These would be so nice on something from the 80s. Oh man, they are so cool. They even come with a, a cap for tightening the center lock. They are definitely one of the coolest things I've seen. It's so cool that they're just new old stock. wonder what year they're from. It's definitely probably late 80s. Here's some Veilside Andrews with a center cap. They're a crazy looking wheel. These are those, uh, yeah. These are the ones for that Peugeot that the lad got, they're the 4 by 108 ones. But they also made them in a 4 by 100 there's a lad that has them on a Starlet Turbo. They're like an aggressive yeah. offset on a small wheel, they're so beautiful on like a Starlet or something. 4 by 100 RGs. Oh Jesus Christ man. Look at them, they are insane. These are uh, Advan TC2s. What's so cool about these is they have a hollow spoke and there's like a little grommet then to stop like moisture and stuff from getting in. I'm not gonna pull out the grommet, but uh, one of the lightest price boat wheels. They're absolutely amazing. Somebody was nice enough to just uh, rattle can them. You can still see the, the stickers underneath. Hello, silver C28s. Fucking very, very nice. There's them Bridgestone Cerumos. Very cool wheel. Never seen a set of these in real life. Yes, boy. They're nice out wheel. Very nice. We've opened all this stuff, yeah we have. We're nearly at the end. We've got this last Crans. collection. No. Crans, Equips. We've been spoiled by the nicest Equips ever today. They're still nice. Step lip on them. Very cool. Like 17, aren't you? Are they yeah, they 16? are. They're 17s. There's some Mark II's hiding down here. Something's disguised in the Watanabe box. There's one res Desmond Regamas there. Wow. Very nice. Here's the human test for the lightest, lightest 15 inch wheel. I'll do one better. We'll go to the skates. Oh yeah. Let's do it. This is some of the nice things about working here because you see all this stuff, you know, over the years on the internet and that. And, but we actually get the chance to do stupid little experiments here. Like this. What is the lightest 4x100? 15 inch Japanese wheel. What's that in? Is that in kg? So the 15 inch T37 6.5J 4x100 is 4.62 kg. And then the 6.5J 4x100 Regamaster is 4 kg, making it the lightest. Holy fuck. Yeah, the lightest. This is the largest collection of wheels that we've ever received and um, hope you enjoyed looking through them. This is our favorite part of the job. The container is always exciting. 115 sets of wheels. Yeah.
Olha isso.